Jack is back. Jack. We don't see Jack, but uh 917 review. Uh when they were when okay, so Holden was on top of this building. They were talking. Well, that's in the middle of the chapter. Let me go back. So in the in the beginning of the chapter, it was just about it was telling us how poor Wano is now that Kaido's taking over. There was a little boy crying. And then mom was telling him to be quiet because you're you are Wano man. Man can not show any weakness. None of them, not at all. So uh he just keeps on crying. And then this guy comes over. He was like, hey, do you have any more of those herbs? Because my son drank some poison water again because he tried to assassinate his hunger. You know, this guy didn't have enough money to feed his wife and kid for the rest of the week. And, you know, it was just back and forth. You know, so it's just showing how poor Wano is now that Kaido has taken over. And we find out who Speed is. Speed is a uh, centaur. It said centaur smile fruit. And usually smiles, you only, you only get part of it. But it must have been a really good smile fruit, like, uh, Momonosuke's because he got the whole well it's not it's a horse but you know it's like she's like a centaur you know you got the back of the horse the front of the horse and he's got the ears but her face is normal but she smiles all weird like a horse too but the face is the face is normal she got oh she got all the things like a centaur she got like the bar nail too like that so we find out who speed is and what was us oh yeah back yeah and then after that we find out who speed is he didn't really do anything besides bring some food to where Hold'em was for like this parade or something, but other than that, he didn't do anything. Uh, then we go back to the city, and it's Hold'em on a building, and then they're talking back and forth. He, you know, he keeps saying, you know, you better back up, or my lion's gonna just jump down on Tama. And then, uh, long leg girl, long legs, she says, Luffy, don't make him angry. Luffy was like, he's already angry. He was like, don't even, don't make him even angrier. He was like, why? He because he is one of the most trusted. Uh, subordinates, you know, he, he was saying, he was saying that Tom, he was, she was saying that, uh, Hold'em is super strong and that he is like Jack's right hand man, like, you know, like, he's like Jack and he trusts some people and that's his, the Hold'em is Jack's like right hand man. So you're like, you know, if you like beat the poop, beat the snot out of Hold'em, Jack's coming and Jack ain't no joke because I think you know, Jack ain't no joke. But then she was like, uh, you know, uh, what was it? Luffy and Zoro were like, Jack, you know, you know, they, they started remembering about, you know, how he destroyed Zo. He almost killed everybody with that poison weapon. And then Zunisa smacked him out of next week. Cause Luffy was like, you know, what? There's no way he's in Wano because Zunisa, this giant elephant, smacked him. He's in the bottom of the ocean by now. But then uh, Long Leg Girls, he was like, that's impossible because... Jack was just in this town like a few days ago. So Jack is back. I don't know how it went oh no, I think Apu got him. You know, he fished him up. So Jack, he's in Wano right now. So he's going to be fighting somebody. Uh, they ain't going to fight him now. I hope not because poof, they ain't going to fight him now. But Jack is back. So if you beat up, hold him. Jack's coming and baby shaking everyone. So it's, it's done. It's real bad for Luffy and them. Then after that. We see Law. He has this man has a, like a straw bucket on his. <laughs> he got a he got a straw bucket on his head, and he's walking through. And then uh, Hawking, he was uh, riding through town trying to get to hold him. And then he sees Law. He doesn't know who it is, but you can tell who it is by the sword. And then he was like, uh, "Back up! You ain't getting no more father." And Hawkins don't know who it is. He's like, "Who is this guy? He seems really strong." And then it goes into the bucket hat. He was like uh, Law. He was like Hawkins. He knows who we are. Uh, you know, that's like really. Can no one really know who they are besides Kaido and the, and Kaido and Jack? Or well, I don't think Jack knows. Yeah, I don't. Maybe. But only the only person that really knows who Luffy, Zoro, and everyone is is Kaido, since information don't get into Wano. So he was like, since he knows who he is, that's pretty dangerous. I need to take him out now. Then he gets cuts off. We we don't we don't see what happens after that. Then it goes all the way back to town and night back to town and the speed blixen. I knew Luffy could speed blixen because you just see these two panels of Zoro and Luffy smiling. And you see that little like you know when they like run super fast or just speed blixen when you see those lines indicating they just moved, but they're moving so fast you didn't see them. Or you know, they just move and you know those tiny little black lines, you see those. And then boom, the line goes, you know, it goes all the way like that. It drops Tama 
he gets Tama back. And their plan was, you know, they were, since Long Ledge was like, we don't want to be him because he'll come over here to revenge him. We don't want Jack here. We're just going to do a speed blitz and dip. We're not going to fight, hold him. So they do that, grabs him. That big, like, crate of food that Speed brought to hold him for this parade. The dog hooks himself up to it. No, I mean, Long Ledge hooks the dog up to it. Uh, Zoro's on there. And then he does, like, one attack to do away with some men that she has. And Zoro gets on there. Long Ledge gets up there. And then they just bolt. And Luffy grabs Tom. And he's like, all right, let's go. And then he's like, hold up. What's wrong with your cheek? And you see, like, a little, like, scar. Not scar, but a little cut on her cheek. And it's just a little cut on her cheek. And she was like, oh, he just got me with some pliers. It's okay. I'm all fine. He was like, pliers? Okay. So he drops Tom on the basket. He jumps up. He stretches back. He says, do your dragon. I mean, he said, do your lion fire raw, boy. And he's like, come on up. Boom, fire comes out. But, then, you know, Luffy just tanks that and he stretches his arm back. And he does a red hawk right in Holdem's face. And Holdem's out. He's out. And they're like, boom. What just happened? You know, he's knocked out. So now Jack's coming. So now they're going to have to dip. I think they're going to dip all the way back. But if they do, I think Speed saw them. So Speed can, like, you know, I can tell you who it is. Or if Holden does regain constant. You know, Jack, Jack's coming. It's over. I mean, Kaido was supposed to come after Zoro killed someone. But I think he got out in time. I don't think Kaido really cared about that. But now, Zoro, I mean, now Jack is coming. Oh, man. It's, uh, it's not good for the old Straw Hat buddy. I'm not saying he couldn't. I mean, maybe they could hold them off for like a second or two. It ain't going to be super long, though, because it's Jack the Drought, the Mammoth King. Manny the Mammoth is over. It's, oof, man, Manny the Mammoth, the biggest beast behind Kaido. Well, probably. I think he Kaido right here, man. People say he don't. People think that he isn't Kaido right here, man. So we've seen so much of him. But we only seen his big, uh, whew, his mammoth, his big mammoth form, and not his like halfway, half, half animal, half human form. So that's a 917 review. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you out there. Uh, oh yeah, that hurricane is coming. I'm in Goldsboro, so I hear it's gonna be pretty bad here. But I know there's places other than Goldsboro that's gonna get even worse than here. So, you know, all all y'all stay safe out there. Uh, and, you know, stay safe out there. Hope y'all don't get flooded. You know, hope y'all stay safe. Don't even know what else to say, but stay safe. I'll see y'all out there. And goodbye.